We just moved to this building, I remember it quite clearly, and we had about 15 young people under 15 years old. I remember them lined up across the wall over the road, all sniffing glue. And we were trying to manage them through the centre for these weeks, and I just was looking at it going, this is really, it's a really high risk. We're a drug and alcohol treatment service, and we can't sit and watch this occurring. With growing community concern around the increased risk-taking behaviour of young people in Cairns, a solution was required that involved more than any one agency. It raised a lot of community concern and concern across the sector of how can we effectively uh, respond to the, need, the, the needs of these young people. You've also got a, a non-sharing of information. One agency is thinking someone else is doing it, another service is thinking that's the police's responsibilities. So we went and met with someone from the Department of Communities and said, help, really, we can't, we can't manage this safely by ourselves. When you get into a space of complex problems, no one individual or agency really has the solution to that. And it was like, hang on, this is a community problem, we all need to get together, Something, something's got to be done. We got this list of 15 kids, went to police and youth justice and education Queensland and child safety. We had a meeting in a room with just us with this list, which was kind of unusual because we all used to sort of be really paranoid about the privacy, we have to respect the confidentiality of these young people. But you're going, there's 15 kids, all under 15, we actually need we need to share this stuff. And as we went around the room on each of those young person, every one of those government departments knew those young people. So it was recognised very early on that a system needs to be put in place to support collaboration. The Coordinated Care for Vulnerable Young People, or CCYP, emphasises cross-sector collaboration between government and non-government organisations to meet the needs of vulnerable young people. CCYP, uh, I found, I guess, brought together all those government agencies and non-government non agencies so that we could start the conversation about access to services. And from then we started writing a, um, a partnership agreement where we could share information. There's three separate functions, an executive function, an operational function and a service delivery function. The service delivery function is where the uh, caseworkers come together, they plan the delivery of their service and they coordinate their support to that young person. The role of the panel was really to coordinate who is going to be involved around the care of that young person. The CCYP reference group, which is the executive function, uh, is really about oversight. And so under the local partnership agreement we have, which we administer, we basically keep people at the table. So once you have some structures in place, then it makes it easier for people to come together, have that initial face-to-face -face time, start building some trust within the relationship. The CCYP gives us as frontline workers a mechanism to pull all of the other frontline workers that are part of this young person's life. If you are a young person and you're, you know, you're uh, in a crisis situation, you're under a lot of pressure, a lot of complex issues in your life, the last thing you need is to be bouncing around a system of support. Sometimes to get into a service, the referral process can be quite big. And by having managers of those services being able to go, we're pushing this through because they've been identified of having all these needs. Therefore, that young person doesn't have to do f five assessments to get this one service. What CCYP really aims to do is wrap that support around that young person in a coordinated way. So they're getting a single point of care, a common plan, common language, common faces. And if those agencies aren't talking together and they have separate plans, putting different demands on that young person, then it can actually be more harmful than productive. I think it's a, a great reminder that the young person is at the centre of our practice and to deliver efficient services, we all need to be involved. A lot of the challenges that you think you might have just went away when we realised we're all after the same thing. There's benefits to the system, there's benefits to the individual agencies, and obviously there's benefits to the young people ultimately. It also means that the agencies build a relationship that we know who to call outside panel, and so it's all that like secondary impact stuff that's really huge. I guess the way we work now is more effective. We're not duplicating services anymore, and the time, you know, reduced time on one person so we can then provide support to other young people.